All right, let me talk about a couple of ways of doing this question. When I did it, I just sort of started summing, you know, the pairs that we have. So here I've got 15. Um, here I've got 12. So that means whatever goes here is going to have to be three more than whatever goes here. And here I've got nine. So whatever goes here is going to have to be three more than that one. And the only option, therefore, is D. Because you can see, right, I've got three here, and then I need something that's three more here to get me 18. Um, the same as this one. And then I need something three more here to also get me 18. So I think that's quite a quick method. The way the answers did it, they actually added all of the, the numbers up. So 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus all the way up to 10, actually. Let's let's do that. We'll talk about like quick methods of summing. Okay, so we can kind of look for pairs. We can see that we get 10 here. We get 10 here. So I'm on 20, uh, 30, um, ah, 40, and 54. Okay, so that's quite a nice way of summing it quickly. So that was if I add them all up. And therefore, if I divide through by 3, that will tell me the sum along each row. So 54 divided by 3 is 18. And then we know, kind of, we call this the magic number, actually. So it's what each uh, row, column, and diagonal have to add up to. And that then also gives this answer of 369. So two different methods. I think my way, actually, is quicker. But this is quite a nice way as well. Um, and that the second way is nice because you could do it without multiple choice whereas my way I kind of use the options to help me get it quickly